Goodness me, thank you very much, Alaric, for the resub. Oh, dearie me. Right, you're going to get me chit-chatting for a little bit with the camera off. Um, <laughs> while I um, get the game going, because last time when I used the game's in-game music, clearly that's all been added to everyone's favourite thing, the YouTube content copyright scrubbing algorithm thing, which is just a pain in the fucking ass. So, yes. Irritated. Now, I think I was doing Britain for... I can't remember what year I got up to. Let's have a quick look. Uh... Hey, Renegade Marine. I know what you mean. Um, I am currently working on... The next kind of when 1.6 comes out at some point presumably 1.6 will come out I'm working on a um, a potential new uh, new uh, version of the dreadnought improvement project mod which is going to push some of the technologies later so there's a little bit more going on later but it is it is i am aware like once you get to 1950 for sure all all the techs are done and then you've got 15 years where not too much is going on and as well one of the problems i ran into when i did that really long campaign is all the repeatable techs started just causing problems um so, yeah, that's why I just started nerfing them. <laughs> Dauntless class like cruiser, that would be good. Um, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Who else we got? W, hello. Alpha 4 is when I started playing the game as well. Um, hey, Spartacus. Right, uh, let's get over to the game. Hey. <laughs> right, um, the ship pack, by the way, for Dreadnoughts 1.5, well, well, for um, the Improvement Project 1.7.5 is now out, version 3. Most of the designs are not mine, because I haven't finished building them yet. <laughs> so this is me effectively working on version for four of the ship pack. Uh, right, last time we designed this, the Hannibal. Not too bad. Do, do, do. There we go. Uh, right, I guess we could build some companion ships for her. Um, now then, we do have the G3 Three. This is the new. This is the new hull that they added with one point five. Hmm. Long. Uh, let's go for fifty thousand. Uh, British no scrap run. <laughs> it's fun. I'm enjoying that as France. No scrapping. Your growth has tanked, despite not being at war. Are you using the mod or are you playing vanilla, Spartacus? Uh, eh, it's not going too bad. Nice to see you, Peter. Catching the live stream. Awesome. You're new to the game, and you find it hard to manage ships in ports to cover and project power moving around in a fleet. And some, Right. Number one, James. <laughs> It's submarines are fucking stupid. Which is why I made a mod to get rid of them. <laughs> so, I feel your pain. Um, yeah, so there's t two things you can do. First of all, if you're playing a smaller nation, which are easier to start with, um, say so you're playing Italy, right? You only have three sea, re sea regions you need to worry about. Um... The Western Med, Central Med, and the Adriatic. 
and you just have to make sure you always keep at least one serious fleet unit heavy cruiser plus there um if you're playing a bigger nation it can be quite difficult if you've watched my most of my campaigns you'll see what i do is i just let the ai f fling ships all over the place build a ton of destroyers um just just queue up like a hundred destroyers and let the ai distribute them and you'll get you'll get power projection or at least some everywhere because it'll just spread them out for you um yes w uh, i am work i have a solution for the cruisers um i'm still testing it i think i think I've, I've got heavy cruisers okay i think light cruisers are uh, maybe need just a, just a teeny bit more but it's it's tricky because it's very easy to accidentally make them a thousand percent overweight when you haven't even put anything on them <laughs> Uh, vanilla. I do not know what would be causing it in vanilla. Um, for sure. There's a few things if you're getting a GDP drop. I would say... As in your actual GDP dropped, or your growth is negative. Like, I know that sounds like a stupid question, but did your GDP just suddenly go down? Or is it that you, you have negative growth and you, you can't get it? to increase. Yeah, exactly, Matthew. If you're new, don't play a big... Don't play Britain, um, for instance. The US is quite a good start um, if you're new to the game because they get loads of money and they get tons of economy and then you can pretty much just keep yourself to yourself. Yep, exactly, Harold. I, I like act, actual submarines in real life. I think they're cool, but... Um, wow, those towers? Gigantic. Um, I think they're too big. That looks like it's oversized by a factor of two. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, that one is slightly better but oh jeez calm it down this is vast okay uh, what secondaries do you get equally oh, fucking hell okay someone just put in the wrong scaling factor on this hull those are those are far too big. All of those are far, far, far too big. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> I know this is one of the newer hulls, but that's stupid. It looks like a. <laughs> uh, um. Hey, Olsen. Uh... Okay, uh, your growth was six, and now it's dropped to two. Um, there's a few things that can cause that. Uh, events is the main one. Um, there is it also in the game <sighs> simply uh, um, there, there, there's, there's how is the global economy doing mechanic. So sometimes just everything is shit. <laughs> um, Right. Uh, what are the Hannibals? They have fifteens. Yeah, I mean, the Hannibal. Yeah, two of them. See, then look at the size of the gun compared to the tower. That is silly. I don't like this hull. I'm building on the uh, Battle Cruiser Six, which is much nicer. There we go. Increase the beam. There's only so much you can do. It's not the worst with the funnels, but like, look, this is the Battle Cruiser Six, right? Which at fifty thousand tons, this is smaller than the ship I was just building, right? And I can grab a tower, and look at that. 
actually looks proportionate. Look at the size of the windows, right? Look. That's how big a window is on this tower. And this is a high-end tower. One tower, five enhanced. There you go. That's the best one. All right, look at the size of a window. About as big as the cursor, right? When I'm zoomed in, like this. Like, they're not huge. Go back to the G3. Yes. Go back to the G3. The smallest tower. Look at that! <laughs> Staffed by bloody giants! Anyway. Um... Oh! <laughs> Red Day Gaming, yes. Um, not everyone will have seen that episode yet, because it's only up for channel members. It'll come out next week um, for everybody. Um, yeah, that that's a fun one. <laughs> me refitting ships. Oh, dearie me. Right. Um, oh, see, this is looking much nicer. Even though this is technically act this is actually a longer, bigger superstructure, it doesn't look stupid. No, Harold, there's no uh, British hull with a transom. Is it a track called a transom stern? But it, there's no. You can't get the right stern. Yes, yes, yes. And... Lovely. All right. Secondary guns. What have you got for me? Too much to hope for a six inch mount point. Fives? Yeah, I like two of them. Fours. Th That's going to be threes, isn't it? Yes, it is a hood. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I am basically building hood. Uh, oops. Didn't mean to lengthen the ship. Although that does mean that I can probably eliminate the bar bit. It will technically save a bit of weight. I'll poop off. Okay, so you're not letting me do that. Fine. Hello, good morning, or good afternoon, or whatever it is. Do do do. Yes, good. Um, do 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 do. Standard, standard. Thirty-two knots. Pretty sure that was the speed that Hood could do. Um, do 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 do. do. Yeah, 32 knots. Uh, oil. Get Ox diesel. Courageous class. Oh, they're so bad. Uh, I haven't 
built anything on the large light cruiser hull. Yet, I don't think. Okay. Hmm. Hey, Epi. And yes, hello. Uh, right. 15 inch 42 caliber guns. That's absolutely fine. What's our armor quality? 160. Okay. All right, then. What are we looking at? Oh, crikey. All right. Um, hmm. Uh, let's do the HE first. Um, I'm also going to grab an 8 inch gun. So we're going to look at its stats. 6 inch. Okay, 6 inch. Well, 6 inch is going to be quite a lot. Uh, if we go for 7,500 meters, though. I think five is going to be okay. Thank you, eight inch. Um, deck, yeah, six. And then, probably just 1.5. Oops. 1.5. And then, blah, main belt. Tricky. I'm gonna put on the tires to see. Eight, eight, let's go for 18, 9, 18, 16 inch belts. I did see Twitch chat. I said good morning to you. <laughs> Just didn't read the second bit. Uh, 1.5, 1.5. And then we have a little bit of weight remaining. Let's go many bulkheads. Hey, Sterkfish. I think many bulkheads should work. Yeah. Lovely. What else can we build? Um, any good heavy cruisers? Here's there's the large light cruiser. Uh, hey, Ghostface Ninja. Um, basically, if you see stuff that the devs are doing that I'm already doing in the mod, I'm not bringing it over. So. They have maybe done something, but uh, I'm probably ignoring whatever it is they did. Oh, I don't have any 1920 designs. Okay, when was the last time I did a, a cruiser? I 
Okay, I, I just happened. All right, cool. Um... The G I don't like the G3. The towers are too big. They look really weird. Not a fan. Right. Uh, what is this? 926. Yeah, we could build a... Build a heavy cruiser. It's going to be a bit ambitious getting it to go 33 knots. Ah, no problem. Oh, this is also the one with boring towers. Uh, cheap, cheap one. Really? Doesn't fit. These are all enormous. Ugh, I don't really don't like this hull. Just and these towers, they're so long. <laughs> yep, still doing Britain. I'll probably finish Britain. Soon enough. Mm, reverse engineering, yeah, that could be cool. I think there's going to be too much. Let's go for twins. Why can't we have though this for those instead of the goofy looking things? Oh, they don't want to fit them, are they? Launchers. I know they're very chunky eights. Um, yes, you can move ships from port to port in the fleet menu. It's kind of cool. Um, it's a little bit slow when you have an ongoing campaign that's quite far along. But. Um, yeah, it, it it works. And it generates a little one-ship fleet that will move around. Don't do it in wartime if you're playing vanilla, because you'll lose all your ships to submarines. Straightforward. Um, say an eight inch belt. One point five four and a half. I don't know three inch main deck. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> disable submarine button. Yeah, still waiting for that. Um, do, do, do. This ship has a, it's got quite a lot going for it. Yeah, it could push speed. Oh, no. Just noticed the engine efficiency. Um, pepper range. There we go. Um, sure, Imperials. Some submarines in the game are just terrible. Just don't, just don't, <laughs> just don't do it to yourself. Yeah, let's go for the modern light cruiser too. the main tower backwards, isn't it? That one at least looks a little bit different because it's got the boats. I think they disappear, don't they? Or well, maybe they don't. No, they do. But it does have a lifeboat. <laughs> I guess. Oh, so does that. Never mind. Ignore me. No, I don't think they can add submarines like that. Like, where you actually play with the subs. I don't, I don't, I don't think the game would support it without some serious... Serious re reworking. Um. <laughs> Are all three of Nelson's turrets forward facing? Yes. So, uh, Nelson's turrets look. Like, look like that with the third gun here. So A and then B supervise over A and then whatever you want to call this one, I call it an N is is like this on the deck. Hey, Thelmoni and Dan, how you doing? Oh, yes, I remember now. Okay, let's lose this six-inch gun so that we can put on some spice. <laughs> uh, you come up against this in your campaign. I apologize in advance. Mm 
And this is why I need to adjust light cruisers, because you should not be able to do this. As I said, I am currently working on a fix, but it won't come out until the next update of Dreadnoughts, because it's going to complete... I've got the fix working, but it completely breaks saves, so yeah, can't, can't, I can't be doing that when people have got campaigns going on. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. Um... Armour, yes. That should make it pretty much a mutant <laughs> thing that um, you can really throw at it. Uh, right, fine, let's go 2.5. Ah, oh, thank you very much for the subscription. I'm guessing that was on YouTube, so you might not even be watching the live, but thank you anyway. Goodness, overweight on a light cruiser. Unheard of. Um... <laughs> Go 1.5, 1.5. I mean, they're expensive. But, um, yeah, that's going to absolute... Okay, these ones look goofy. I'm going to take these off. <laughs> they're absolutely going to ruin your day. Cool. No, I think I think it was is that a Megami where they had the like the the C or the N turret around the other way. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not breaking people's campaigns, I'm just not doing it. Uh bottom destroyer. Uh small one. Um, have you built a ship with max mount speed slider in dip no nope, I haven't I don't generally try although you probably could on a light cruiser because as I've said a few times already like if it's a light cruiser or a heavy cruiser they don't count because <laughs> I'm fixing those uh, nope. Yep. Pew pew. And... one <laughs> Corvettes and sloops mm, I doubt it I think pretty much all we're going to get at this stage of the game's development is we'll get nice things like uh, the new buttons quality of life improvements like that um, we'll get new hulls, and that's basically it. I'm not expecting anything else. Oh, 
armor. In theory, we could have armor. What do you want from me? Um, yeah, those torpedo tubes are heavy. So is that tower? Well, these don't fit. The refit towers. None of the refit towers actually fit, which is stupid. And the advanced tower is a lot lighter. Morning. Uh, yes, the little baskets can house um, a little, a little uh, like forty mil or something. Hey, Spartacus, um, auto mod doesn't like one of the words you used. <laughs> Use Japanese. Don't shorten it. Um, hey. Yes, the the H M A S Yarra is not the problem. <laughs> it, it it is. Automod is bullying. It's it's not even. It's it's because you're talking about an Australian ship. Automod doesn't like Australians. We we have established this over many years. Y yeah, seriously, that's what that's why it's having problems. Um. Okay, this is gonna have to come down to a quad. Still too heavy. Uh, I don't need all that range, and it doesn't need to be. There, there you go. Bang on. Turbicant. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. Right, let's go to 19. Goodness. Someone else putting a shared design in. 1930. Oh, shall I just go to 35? I think to remember 35 gives you. Mind you, I've got the modern one. Yeah, let's, let's go 30. Nope, sod is fine. Middle finger is fine. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, I'm trying to catch up with the YouTube chat. Pretty effective. You just, you'll discover some. Yeah, so if it's cruisers, I am working on a fix for cruisers. Because both heavy cruisers and light cruisers use a different almost a completely different way of calculating their displacement from battleships and battle cruisers in the way they're structured in the game files. So what I've done is I've gone in and I've changed it so that they follow the logic that the bigger ships use and that makes maxing out their speed sliders extremely difficult. So I am working on it um, with cruisers like cruisers will be fixed. Um, Divisions, ah, oh, divisions, navy pants. Oh my god, <laughs> they're stupid. There's a reason the mod defaults to only having three or four ships in a division, and that's because anything larger than that, and you get all this chaos going on. Um, it's not strictly speaking mod related, but because the ships in the mod are a little bit more like real ships in that they aren't Formula One cars, um then, yeah, it, it makes it worse, because they're, they're not as good at slowing down, basically. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure what you're talking about there, sorry. Oh, a point one port offset when building battleships in vanilla. That's usually a torpedo tube. Uh, some of the... Some of the, some of the uh, hulls, the torpedo tubes aren't symmetrical, um, so you get you get a little bit of an offset. Uh, 
uh, re resizing is really difficult. Really difficult. In theory, it's just a number I can go in. Like on the G3, there should be a sizing number that I can go in and just change the scale factor. But it is very difficult. It basically, if you get it wrong, <laughs> you'll have a little little midget tower. <laughs> or it'll be like, it's it's so easy to make that. It just go, go so wrong. Um, ah, no problem. Right. Uh, yes. Standard regular crew. Fifty-five thousand sounds about right. Hey, Harina. Hello from the Philippines. Hello, indeed. I mean, Lewis Hamilton probably do better in a, <laughs> a light cruiser <laughs> than he would. I mean, he's changing cars, isn't he? Um, right. Now then. All the secondary towers. Um, one goes right up to the edge. Nope. those two that I think look look the best mm -hmm. oh, beans there's a way of doing this I know there is yeah there we go the four and the eight Ooh. Fort Dra not not a ship I'm familiar with. Sounds interesting. Uh, I think triple fifteens. Concrete. What? You have to explain that one to me. How do you make a ship out of concrete that's not, you know, fort? Five three inch. Neat. Oh, that's very, very slightly off. That is incredibly irritating that it is off. You can have it look right or you can have it function right. You want both? F you. Fine. Uh, Still, it came with a boatload of armor. 
Uh, right, 170. Yeah, I think, I think, ah, oh, yeah, do you know what? Yeah, call it six. I think 18 is actually okay on the turret. And then 16, maybe not. Something like that. Uh, 3.1, 2.4. Might have to use a five to make it fit there. Yes. Hmm, you're probably right about that, but I prefer having a six inch gun <laughs> over a five. There you go. Um, it's the KG5 15 inch proposal, basically, with with bigger secondaries. I like, um, it's a pretty nice ship overall. I mean, if that shows up in your campaign, realistically, it's not going to show up in 1930. It's going to show up in, like, 32, 33. Um, that's potentially quite a nasty ship to come up against. It's fast. It's well protected. And, I mean, 15-inch guns are relatively punchy. I mean, the 16-inch belt this thing's carrying is going to protect it at about 15,000 metres or so, which is a realistic battle range for the for the era um yeah i mean obviously if you've got bigger guns than that yeah when this thing was refitted it'll get the giant turret the the uh, british mark 3 bunny ears turrets are weirdly small um I'm not sure why they're tiny, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I already built on that. One heavy cruiser, f four. <laughs> not the three, no. Jesus, right. Um. Wow, you can make this thing stupidly, stupidly thick. I mean, even the default displacement is ludicrous. 18,000 ton heavy cruiser. Bloody hell. Uh, Joe, what is the cause of conquests not being initiated when you have selected yes to proceed with the conquest? You are the Admiral, not the government, and the government has decided that they don't want to do it anymore. Like, hey, Admiral, do you think we should invade this place? Yes, we should. Fine, we're not doing it. That's basically what happens. Uh... You can't find any record on Google of a uh, A B Y or A B X Leander. Uh, hmm. Leanders. Leander class. Let's have a look. So you've got the Leander, and then you've got the Amphion type.
No, they they had uh, four twins. And then, yeah, the towns had uh, triples. Uh, which is better in terms of cost, weight, output, in terms of having lots of, say, 14-inch guns to a few 16-inch guns? In the current version of Dreadnoughts, it depends what mark the 16-inch and the 14-inch guns are. You can have 14-inch Mark threes, and you only have access to 16-inch Mark twos. then use the 14-inch. Uh, I will do all the nations. It's just going to take me time, Lorenzo. Leander with three turrets. Leander with three turrets. I'd have to go and check a book. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got a book somewhere on uh, British interwar cruisers. Uh, when you get a ship where the off section of the ship has a main deck and then a lower deck with enough space for more guns, triple wall turret layout at the back. <coughs> when you say a triple turret layout at the back, do you mean putting... I know what you mean, like a little quarter deck holes, but like putting, doing that, is that what you're talking about? Three lots of turrets, yeah, but um, no. Oh, you mean like, uh, like this? Super duper firing. Is that what you're talking about? Anyway, uh, yes, yeah, back to designing. Do Uh, yes, I do do the super duper firing sometimes. Um, depend depends on weight and stuff. Uh, do we only mark fives? No, I mean eighteen thousand tons is vast. That's a vast, enormous ship. Can we make a super cruiser? I mean, 11 inch guns are big and heavy, but we might be able to. Sorry, Baden, what, what was the problem that you had? Uh, I'm scrolling back up through chat, but I can't see can't see what your issue is. You still not found a solution to something. <laughs> yep, baby battleship. Baby battleship. Although I expect I won't be able to get this to work. Just a suspicion. Would not start on launch. Ah. 
and then you still haven't been able to fix it. Hmm. It's a weird one not being able to launch at all. Even after like updates and stuff, and a reinstall hasn't done it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, 57s? Fuck me. Right, I'm going to break my own rule. <laughs> and reduce the length on those. 57 is stupid. Can you please update? 50s, there we go. That's far more sensible. Right. Um. <laughs> yeah, 1.5 is going to be enough for the extended bits. Um, uh, the three inch main deck. Um, What? <laughs> I think the game has made a boo-boo here. Oh, no, I'm just reading it wrong. Because I'm an idiot. Um, yeah. Uh, AP pen belt. Uh, what have we got at the moment? 7.7. .7. It puts us down to around seven uh point seven twelve thousand meters, something like that. We want a little bit more than that, I reckon. Um seven. turret should be okay down to any range. Main belt. Hmm. Let's go 12. No, let's go 11. <laughs> You're not allowed 12. Fine. There we go. A displacement to spare. Maximum bulk kits. Maximum range. Um, sure. That'll do. Don't need to push. I mean, they're super expensive. I mean, with no crew. <sighs> That's pricey, but, um, I mean, worth it. Arguably. They're, they're pretty nasty weapons. Nine 11-inch guns. Again. Sorry. Um, no, 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 no. You don't want you don't want sixties because basically, if you go over fifty five, um, you really start to see drop off when they after they added that barrel wear mechanic. It's it's just like not worth it. 45 to 55 is the kind of it's kind of kind of where you want your guns at yeah that's all I was going to say Baden you just got to kind of hope and pray that an update fixes it at some point reinstall from Steam I guess uh, already built on the modern like Cruiser 2 do I not get another one? Might not. Okay, let's go to 1935. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, okay, I do get more cruisers here. And we also get Super Battle Cruiser and the modernized. Um. I 
could do we could do something possibly interesting on the modernize, but it's basically going to be hood again. Uh, there's the large cruiser. Mm. Look at the advanced escort crew. What the fuck? Advanced scout cruiser it is. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Fucking enormous shite hulls. Both of these. Garbage. Look. How? What? Look. No. No, all of that is the wrong size. It hurts my head. Um... Do, 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 do. I don't. I don't think I'm going to build anything in 35. Let's just go straight to 1940. Um, on battleship two. Um, barrel length doesn't have as much of an effect in the mod. Uh, but that mechanic is hard-coded. I can't change it. So, <laughs> If one scout cruise is fat, it is just an enormous fat... F fatness. I dislike it. It's like the hybrid destroyers. They're just weird. Weirdly scaled. Like, if, like me, you like keeping around your old ships, they're bigger than, like, Super Dreadnoughts. <laughs> if you actually build them. Look at the size of those towers compared to a battleship, even. That, that cruiser was, like, this big, with a vast tower on it. It's, like, sh just 50% shrink. <laughs> Please. Oh my goodness, right. Do, 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 do. This is just going to end up going to be a repeat. <laughs> well, oh well, you can see what the previous class would look like with the with the bigger guns on it. Um do 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 And yes, I know this is pretty much the exact same ship. Just a more modern version. That is actually, though, what the AI loves to have. Is, is, is like, some quite similar ships for it to build off. That's pretty much what I'm doing now, bad luck. It's just... If I come across a hull that is just... Pants. I'm. I'm just gonna be like, no, no, I don't want to. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty much what happens, right? Two inches, three inch. Okay, two inch. Uh, let's go twins. They could look like AA guns. Pew 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 pew. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I normally do build. I mean, I normally do build some destroyers for the AI to copy. Um, uh, this thing can do thirty-two knots in theory. Ooh, now we'll stick with steam. Well, no, because I don't want to build one. Like, I only have so much time to stream and play Dreadnoughts in general. And if I don't have to build on those stupid hulls, I won't. Because they're stupid and garbage, right? Not that they're actually bad, it's just that they're the wrong scale compared to every other ship in the game. I don't understand. 
I just don't. Right. Armour. 200% armour quality. Spicy. Why do you hate wing turrets? Because they're, they're, just, they're not... They're, for the same reason that real navies didn't like them. They're a waste of displacement and money. I'm definitely not doing it in my off time. I'm not building on those stupid hulls unless I need to. I'll build on them if I'm playing a campaign. And I'm like, well, that's the hull I've got. Can't really do anything else. Um, hmm. Wow, range is really getting up there. No way we can armor against 35,000 plus meters. So let's go for... I actually think a 16.8 will work. And then extended. Extended, let's just go three all over. Um. Yeah, 18 should be okay. 18. Smashing. Basically the same ship, just newer and bigger. Um, right. Uh, we also have the super. I might save the supers for 45, because then I'll have access to it. Because I've only got Mark IV big... Well, Mark IV big guns are fine, aren't they? Fine. Screw it. Uh, super battle cruiser. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Perfectly sensible speed. your French campaign, your Quebecois. My French is not so bad. It's actually good. Thank you. Um, my GCC French. <laughs> Proving not completely useless. <laughs> Huzzah. Right. No, they're still missized, those weird hulls. The the hybrid destroyers and the escort cruisers, they're they're just they're correctly sized in and of themselves, sort of, although I still think the superstructures are too big. But they don't match any of the other ships in the game. That's the problem. They're like the size of a battleship. 
and everything's blown up. So they look really odd. To me. Okay. Um, your mileage may vary. If you like them, you like them. Good for you. Um, I do not. Right. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes. Very fine. Um... <laughs> Somehow, I think I probably would need gas turbines to actually make this thing work. Oh, okay, how about 38 knots? There you go. Also, if this turns up in your campaign, I apologize. Because this is going to give you problems. Yeah, I could put on 20s, but 20s are only Mark III in 1940. So, plus I happen to know that if you put 20s on this hull, it's pretty much impossible to armour it well. Like a 20-inch turret, if I just grab one. 20-inch twin turret. A, it looks almost too big. But B, these are 2,629 tons, and that's without me putting the armor on. These are 4,000. Like, they are really heavy. Right. They're not stupidly long, are they? Nope. <laughs> armor. <laughs> Can we be proof against the six inch gun? That would be nice. Yeah. Three. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Look at that deck pen. Oh boy. Um eight. Yeah, basically we're not armory. We're not armoring against our guns for this. We're armoring against much smaller weapons. Um I'm not even sure I could put enough armor on the turret to protect the ship. 20, 26. Well, okay. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Protected against our guns from that. Jesus. Um... Twenty-six, twelve. Uh, call it twenty-five. Twenty-one max. Okay, let's go twenty-one then. Twenty-one. Twenty-one inch. I mean, barely protects her against our own guns. We're not really doing that. Uh, Fifty kilometers. No, 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 no. These. That's he. <laughs> 60 kilometer range with the AP. 50, 50 kilometers is just when the, the the range table ends. And like we're hitting even further than that. Um okay. yeah, no, stand up kids. Still, um a ship <laughs> a ship with 18 inch guns. Doing 38 knots. And, yeah, sure. It's it's going to die if you shoot it with 18-inch guns. But if you have a thing smaller than that, you know, you've got 15-inch 
guns, 14 inch guns, 12 inch guns, something like that, you're going to have trouble. So yeah, no, that's, that's a nasty bugger. Uh, what else we got? Anything good? Uh, do, 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 the Kabad Cruiser. Oh, this is another one with these these towers. But this one gets these towers. Uh, oh, this will show you what I mean. Look, see what I mean? With the 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 scale, like they don't look that far off each other, but. This hot, this tower was on the light cruiser. It was like half this size, and these ones just look completely ridiculous. It's not as bad on this hull, but even the hull is too high. It looks, it looks wrong. It looks twice the size it should be. It's just weird. Um. Yes. The experimental heavy cruiser. That doesn't look quite as bad. Although, fucking hell. The, the, see, I open that and I think I'm looking at a 6,000 ton ship. Not a 19,000 ton ship. It's like... What? Because you're looking at the small details, like the, the rangefinder... And the lights, uh, the lifeboat, and then you're using that subconsciously to estimate how big that ship actually is. And then you look over and it says 19,700 tons. It's too big. Like, the, the size compared to the detail. It, it looks weird. It, it unsettles me. I don't like them. Right, look, this is a, technically a smaller ship, but look at that hull, with those towers. Look how tiny the little details are compared to the other one. That feels like a big ship, but it's smaller. It's, yeah, anyway, enough moaning. Enough moaning. Ah, I'm moaning all the time. I think, apart from doing a super battleship, I'm pretty much done with Britain. Let's do a super battleship. Boom. <laughs> um, yes. Good. Um, oh, yeah, this is the one with the weird, weird secondary towers. Do, do, do. Could you go the right way, please? Thank you. Oh. So I'm not annoyed about the value. I'm annoyed about the sh what it looks like compared to the value. You can do a big fat cruiser like that. Fine, I don't mind. Twenty thousand cruisers, tonned cruisers, cool. Let's go. But it shouldn't look like a destroyer. That looks like a six thousand ton ship, <laughs> not a twenty thousand ton. <laughs> it, it's it's a scaling issue. It's not the hull. It's not the tower model. It's that they're they're scaled incorrectly to. I mean, you have points of reference out here. You know, you've got you know the little containers and windows and the the cranes and the gantries and stuff. And it's like that doesn't fit with the other. It's like they did that on times two. And there's a few of those holes. Um, or the modeler was working in a different scale in the editor and didn't come up to the other models. <laughs> That's what it genuinely what it feels like. Um, could do twenties, but again, they're too big. And you can get Mark V eighteens. Mm, yes. 
It is the Britomo. Yes, everything became destroyers, basically. But, I mean, it's a game where you have 100,000 ton battleships. <laughs> right. Quads? No, no, no. That's too much. Too much gun. They'll be too heavy. What's the... What's the difference? Like, these are... 4,564. These are... 5,929. Very heavy. And nine 18 inch guns is, is plenty. Uh, there we go. Uh, plus, I'm making ships to not necessarily be the best, but to give the AI something to build too. And maybe they show up in your campaign. If you are lucky. <laughs> Unlucky, depending on your point of view. Triple base. What's my flash fire chance? 4%. Let's see the standard shields. Yeah, uh, I can do that little pimple gun. <laughs> Can't put it on a turret. I can put it on the other two. There you go. Um, Soviet Union loves taking over Sumatra in the game. I don't know what that's about. They love doing that. Uh, so if the AI chooses one of the weird hulls, and there's, an, I'm not building every a design for every hull, because the AI know that it, you you end up on diminishing returns because the way the AI constructs ships is it will only it's only able to use a shared design if it has not just the hull but every single component you used exactly available to it and then if it fails its design then it will use a shared design if you're on selected if you're on always it will just skip that step it will just use your hull but having played a campaign with always use shared designs they don't show up very often but what does help by having shared designs is that the AI has uh, this ship works? It's got a tick. This is this is an approved design. Okay, cool. What did it have on it? It had this many guns of this size. They were roughly in these positions, and it had this much armor on it. Okay, I'll use that as 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 a start. It's training data. Basically, it's training data that I'm making. <laughs> um, rather than the AI going in blind and just kind of going, um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have slightly thick, thicker fore and aft belts. I still think three inches okay on the deck. Fucking hell. Um, de main deck. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go gonna go twelve. <laughs> Twenty-four inch paint belt. Fuck it. Twenty-six uh thirteen. No, twelve point six. Hmm. Fine twelve. Let's go eleven. Eleven twenty-two. 24. There you go. Yeah. 
happy. 633. And then blah, 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 blah. what do we need this to be? Three inch. Hmm. Well, it'd be nice if I could have that. Somehow the game's like, mmm, no. <laughs> okay, let's slow down a bit. It's okay with 18.5. Um. Cool, let's go down 22, 11, 22, 20, 10. Didn't say that much. Uh, na, 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 na. A big turret sidearm is still the number. Number three item on the ship. Uh, it does have max bulkheads. I mean, I could go down to many. Many, many, yeah, I can do that. That's not too bad. <laughs> yes, you should get some sleep. It's 01.30. Go to bed. Okay, I think that would cause, cause some consternation if that showed up. I mean, it... You know, if I was playing a campaign and the AI showed up with something like that, I'd be like, oh, bugger. That's actually quite a nasty vessel. And that's basically how I'm, how I'm doing it. It's like, is that a competent design if it showed up? And I would be like, um, meep. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, I think that's meep worthy. Cool. Um, say you. Right, I'm going to pop to the toilet and I'm going to get myself some more juice and you lot uh, can choose what the next country is going to be. Um, I can put a poll up. Uh, who next? And it's going to be on YouTube. Sorry, Twitch folk. Um, uh, who else we got? France. Actually, no, not France, because I'm playing as them. Italy. The, the Spain. USA. Um, who else? Uh, I can only add one more option. Um, Russia. Click. Right, I will be back in a moment. Chair, take over.
Thank you, Chair. Good job. Uh, how's the poll doing? USA. Mm, Russia, close second. USA, it is... Aim. There we go. Right. U. S. A. U. Oops, there. <laughs> I was just going to go around and do it again. USA. Yep, I, I don't um, worry about the exact calibers um, and things unless I really need to. Uh, again, that is mostly to help the AI. I don't bother changing the lengths. I don't bother changing the displacements. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, basically. It's easier. Right. Uh, there's already some shared designs loaded. Fun. Thank you to those of you in the community who've been working away on that. The ship pack is out, by the way. Um, not featuring my designs, but the community ones. Um, right, let's get into it. So we have either... Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The 1890s. We either have the small battleship or the coastal defence ship. I'm going to go for the coastal defence ship because the small battleship um, is is too big. <laughs> um, but this is perfect. Plus it has sails. Who doesn't love sails? Um... <laughs> Now it has an American flag. And a second one. In fact, it has many. <laughs> Six. <laughs> four funnels. Six flags. Four funnels. Lovely. Um, all the flags. Uh, oh, it did the thing where you can bug it into putting a barbette out. <laughs> anyway, let's let's not be super naughty. I know it's I know it's an amusement park. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, of course. I need a side gun, a side ten. Yeah, side ten looks about the right size. <laughs> hey, you, people say I never do wing turrets. Look, there you go, wing turrets, asymmetrical wing turrets. <laughs> uh. More flags, more aiming speed. Mm, yes. And then you can have asymmet... Oh, I was going to try and put an asymmetrical six. Boo. Uh. Ooh. Mm, ten with a five on top. That makes it a 15-inch gun, right? <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. No, we do not have six flags, or at least not that that particular brand. We do have theme parks, obviously. Um, I don't have access to six inch. Oh, I do have access to six inch secondaries. Can you do a double pancake? That would be hilarious. No, they don't fit. <laughs> they don't fit. <laughs> Um, casements. Uh, fives, I guess, to match. And probably, what, twos? Yeah! It's American, you've got to have every available gun slot filled with gun. Ooh. 
do, do, do. <laughs> yes, behold the twenty-five inch gun. <laughs> no, the double the double pancake doesn't fit. Doesn't let you do that. Not on this hull, anyway. I'd need a bigger bottom layer. Well, that is hilariously awful. By the way, these guns can f can actually fire through HMS Captain style. They can fire through this little slot here. They can act so technically, provided the ship is in exactly the right position, we have a four gun broadside. <laughs> Yeah, it is a ranger gun, exactly. Ah, uh, yes. Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. Range is going to be rather academic on this thing, I think. But we shall try. <laughs> you mean away and you come back and you're like, what the? <laughs> it's a perfectly sensible design. Totally, totally reasonable. Look, compound armor, fancy. Right, armor. No more 200%. <laughs> Although, just for amusement, what would this do against a modern battleship with 200% armour quality? Hey, four inches of pen. That's not nothing. <laughs> now, in reality, we have 10 inches of pen, which means that our 12-inch main belt is plenty. Smashing. Uh, we probably only need like a three inch four hour belt, but let's make it four. Uh, wow, you do not need a lot of deck armor. Duh. Twelve inch on that. What? What? No! No, no, give me the armor back, you buggers! <laughs> it let me have a 12 inch, and now it's like, no, you can only have four. Cheating little shits. <laughs> the US protected cruisers are very ugly. <laughs> uh, what ship is this? <laughs> Can anyone tell me what what ship am I accidentally recreating here? Because it feels like I'm recre <laughs> recreating something. Oh, let's call it two inch. The main. Okay, cool. Jeez. The different armor thicknesses all over this ship are hilarious. I think it is already called the main. It is, yeah. <laughs> From modern elegant Britomo to this. <laughs> But what I love about it is there's so much displacement left. So much. Like a stupid amount. Spacious. Pleasure barge with loads of coal. There you go. 10,000 kilometer range. Um, let's make it go fast. Uh, faster. Okay, fine. A knot. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, this thing is gloriously stupid. Right. Cool. More DACA needed. Right. What else you can you build in 1890? A three-mast armoured cruiser. Fun. Or a regular armoured cruiser. But that's very dull. Three masters, though. Those are fun. Um, it can go the same speed as the battleship. 6,000 tons. Forward mast. Maria Tower. There you go. Stick some sails on it, and off you go. Oh, it needs funnels. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a steamship. I see. <laughs> Uh, right. Mm hmm. Seven inch. That won't fit a seven inch. In fact, I may have run into a slight issue where I'm not sure I can fit main guns anywhere on the ship except the back. Uh, hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, these are the casements. Um, pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. What's on my phone? What do I do with it? <sighs> Somebody just tried to text me and I don't know where to put my phone. Oh dear. I'll go look for that in a sec. Um, bum, bum. Yes, it's a brace for Robin ship, exactly. Well, you only need the big gun when you're fighting something big, right? And if you're fighting something big, you're running away. So you might as well put the big gun on the back. It's, it's, it's perfectly logical. Perfectly, perfectly normal thing thing to do. There you go. <laughs> it's a CA. <laughs> Armoured cruiser. Armoured. Very important. Did I say it was running away from an armoured cruiser? Anyway, it, it's basically built like a light cruiser, I guess. But it's not. It's armoured. Reverse into the... Yes, exactly. <gasps> Genius. The only problem with this is it only has two flags. Kind of letting the side down when there's clearly one, two, three, four, four extra places you can put flags. Boop. Um... 
do a gunboat? <laughs> that's like the that's like the battleship, but small. Flag. Flag. Oh, you don't fit, you bastards. Flag. Funnel. What? Funnel. Oh, I could push that all the way back there. <laughs> I know. I'm going to try and stick a gun up there. Oh! No donuts. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, this is like the CSS Virginia in the Naval Academy all over again. I mean, I know it wants me to fit them there, but screw that. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, they're for two inch guns. Two inch guns. Two inch guns. A two inch guns. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Kind of love that. Uh, two, four hundred. Yes. Well, these are not fast. <laughs> Super firing. Yeah, it does. Look. <laughs> um, what's the? Yep. I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it can't fly through the mast. Still, you've got three guns on most targets. Unless it's dead in front. The torpedo cruiser. These are usually, these are quite fun sometimes, <laughs> but the gunboat is so hilariously silly that I, I look at the pitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh no 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 no! Uh, can we make it go eighteen knots? Nope. Nope. Fifteen is the biggest I've got in eighteen ninety. Yes, good. Good, good. Right. Yes, that's a gloriously silly thing. Um, I'll show the torpedo cruiser. It's this. It's it's a normal light cruiser. 
It's not like the French who get the, <laughs> the, the insanely cool torpedo cruiser. And I can't be bothered building a torpedo boat because someone's already done it. Right. 1895. Ooh, options. <laughs> Alright, you lot have a think about what battleship I should build on. I'm going to go and see if I can find my phone and see who is trying to message me. Was Mrs. Monroe. Boop. The experimental ones usually work quite well, they just look horrendous. This one looks alright. <laughs> the experimental one, look at it. It's just a scaled down regular dreadnought. This is absolutely broken. It's wide. 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 Mmm. <laughs> extra. Extra wide. If you want. <laughs> I don't want, actually. Um, I tend not to mess with the beam and draft for the shared. For the shared designs. Um, because again, you have no idea what the AI is going to do with that. Wow. The amazing speed of 16 knots. The <laughs> US is wide. Yes, wide. Yes, how wide is the Panama Canal? <laughs> we want the ship that wide, please. Actually, someone can look that up if you want. Uh, this is <laughs> has a beam of 80 feet. This one as well, which is big, but I can kind of like that one. What do you get for the back? Mm, this is three. Ooh, they're mirrored, mirrored towers, basically. Cool. Nah, eh, quite correct to put them. Ooh, ooh! I was thinking, oh no, funnels aren't going to fit. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Because <laughs> it's... Yeah, sure, you can put the boats up there. <laughs> nice. That's 
perfectly balanced. That one is floating. Why is that turret floating? You see that? Look, it's a floating turret. Hmm, I might take that off because uh, A, it has terrible firing arc and B, floating. Although it is funny that you can, um, you, can you can build a ship with uh, three <laughs> super center firing turrets. Uh, secondary six double oh boo! I wanted a double pancake. Boring game. Boring. Fine. I don't think it's a draft thing. It's like sitting on top of the, the pillars. The fact that this thing has three. <laughs> uh, three forward fire engagements is quite amusing. Triple expansion engine. Well, I found this thing is god slow and still only has a 55% engine efficiency. Oh my god. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah, it's got to keep the orcs happy. Here you go. Ninety six per cent. Sure. Placement. What would it take? I assumed that doing the ridiculousness of the bastard guns, right? Of the extra turret would um, cause pro would cause problems. But uh, I think oh, four percent over, five percent over. That is too effing tempting to try and do. Uh, oh, dearie me! How do I lose five percent? 
five percent. Fuel. Don't need that much coal. <laughs> Mmm, extra thick. It does have max bulkheads. I mean, reduce them. I yeah, it could, but I mean, <laughs> reduce the rain. <laughs> that is horrible. If you come across this in eighteen ninety five, so this would come out eighteen ninety six, eighteen ninety seven. This is horrible. Six 12-inch guns. Most pre-dreadnoughts will only have four. <laughs> it's why. This thing will hit. A wide, small boy. It is, it is a thick ship. Very, very thick. Okay. I do like comparing it to how, to what uh, other, other folks have put into the ship pack. So the wide here is ninety-two million. So it's a lot more than the Kentucky here over here. Oh, mind you, I did I did put crew on it. So probably about the same as the Kentucky over there. Right, uh, an armored cruiser. Got the three, the two, and the one. I think the two, given the limits. I just did a battleship. I'm not. Do, I'm not doing multiple. Oops. Multiple ships, because it's not strictly necessary. AC three, yeah, but I can't. Like, I'm limited to nine thousand tons, which is a mid displacement AC two. Plus, I'll probably still only have the AC three in nineteen hundred. It is maxed. 9,000 tons. I can't go beyond that. Experimental 2 is the Maersk ship. <laughs> um, cage masts. Woo! I don't care if they're terrible. Um... Four funnels, but not how you're expecting. Ooh, that's an 8-inch Mark II. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, I do have induced boilers. Good point. Oh well, battleship doesn't need induced boilers. It has guns. How that works, right? This is basically Olympia. Cool. Let's see if I accidentally end up making the Olympia. Um, oh, fine. 
Kevin. You're doing a campaign and Britain and Russia have collapsed. Okay. What version of the Dreadnought Improvement Project are you using right now, John? As in today. Two funnels, not four. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> A historical it is. What is the Dreadnought Improvement Project? That is the mod that I made. And I'm using. Which I highly recommend. Excuse me. You can get it on Mods Nexus. It, it looks like it has two funnels from certain angles. <laughs> there you go. Two, two, two funnels. If you think it's okay to call this Olympia, I will call it Olympia. one. Very similar actually. Except mine has a crew on it. <laughs> uh, guns on guns. Never ceases to amuse. Right. Cruises are very boring. Oh no, we've got semi armored cruiser one. Let me make something interesting on this. Cage masts. Woo! <laughs> Latest version. Okay. I mean, collapses can happen. Did they, Do you think they happened too easily? Or, like, were you expecting them to collapse? Or was it a case of, oh, they've collapsed. That was, that's weird. Because I changed a thing to try and make the... Um, the collapsing less likely, but I may have accidentally made it more likely. So, pew 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 pew. I was testing it today, and I thought it was less likely because I was actually able to fully conquer a country without them economically imploding. Um, which is spoilers for the ongoing campaign, but I did manage to do it. Um, so I won't say which country it is. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's not too bad. A St. Louis, if you say so. Boom, boom. Wow, cool. Five inch. <laughs> 
excessive armor, actually. Mm -hmm. Cool. Very nice. St. Louis, you said. All right. Again, if it's just torpedo boats, it is no thanks to 1900. Uh, hmm. We have the three and four also wide. And then we have the full battle. That's just the whole, that's the semi armed crew. Ah, there we go. There's the American hull. That's the one I was looking for. Proper USA Dreadnought Hull. Um, uh, Britain was at war with Germany. Yeah, well, Britain, in the game anyway, can have the problem where... They lose loads and loads and loads of transports. Um, I would I would need to see like screenshots um, of various points, like what exactly is going on in the war. Um, in oh, as as you go, it's very difficult to debug the collapsing thing. I am trying to fix it, but yeah, it's not it's not immediately straightforward. Generally, what date can you expect to make a 16-inch battleship that has decent enough armor? Uh, yeah, probably 1930s for for something like that. This is weird. I'm just expecting a front barbette, but it doesn't have one. Um, ooh, it's got these. <laughs> Rail guns. Oh, I see. Because it's a it's a semi dreadnought. It only gets two of them. Uh, you'd like to use the dreadnought improvement project mod, but you're worried that you're so used to the base game that your building process will be completely useless. No, 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 no. no. Um, you you should find that you you should find with building specifically that building is easier and in that you can you can just plonk components on the ship and it won't be terrible so if you like experimenting with weird layouts uh, fun turrets um, some of the hulls that are really difficult to build on in vanilla or like force you to build in a certain way you can do you've got a lot more freedom the the armor someone was saying in the youtube comments about this recently as well it's like oh i'm not sure because of how you don't get weight reduction with armor you don't but you do get big weight reductions with engines different engine techs so if you've been watching the French campaign, uh, yeah, you get you get weight when I'm uh, when I'm re I'm refitting regularly, um, so you get you get weight back from uh, from your engine techs, but as well there aren't that many things that increase your weight, so I'm only just starting to run into it where I'm trying to put on auto loaders and radar and antidote five and stuff like that. Then it can be difficult um, because you're also starting to run out of the engine techs. But you can refit a ship from 1890 to 1930 and change almost nothing and it'll still work great. Um, 
the difference is you probably won't be able to build every ship exactly the way you want it. As in, you probably won't be able to have all the firepower, all the armor, and all the speed that you want, and that's deliberate. But you should be able to change it, but you if you put on everything you want, you'll probably find that it's too heavy. And you have to make a choice. But that again, that's deliberate to help you kind of um, have fun designing, basically. You will. Uh, you don't need to restart the campaign. I just highly recommend it because all the ships will probably disappear. <laughs> yeah, I recommend finishing the one you're on, then starting on the mod. In theory, you can you can load the mod onto an existing vanilla save, but uh, yeah, it's not always going to go well. Basically. <laughs> You will probably have ships mysteriously disappearing. Uh, there we go. Yes, that is also annoying, Jacob. I wish I could do better with that. But yeah, every time the game updates, you need to install the mod again. Um, as in, re-download it, reinstall it. You don't have a PC, neither the money to acquire one. Um, I can't really help with the money to acquire one, but they are... You do not need a high-end PC to run Dreadnoughts. And if you are on my Discord, you will find there's a PC building channel. And I have pinned on that channel a a PC parts list for a dreadnought machine. In fact I think there's a sub channel for it. If you go second hand in fact Saturday Jams just posed exactly what I was about to talk about. Get an old Optiplex, um, Dell Optiplex, workstation that your a local business is throwing away. It'll have a good CPU in it, probably with good single-thread performance, which is what you want. Buy a cheap but okay graphics card. I mean, I used to run this on a uh, 1660 Ti, you know, something like that. Um, throw that in there, and it's it's fine, absolutely fine. I have, do not have better engine tech. Oh, I do. <laughs> Multiple expansion. Thank you. <laughs> uh, of course, because I'm on 1900 now. Bum, bum, bum. Load times scale with your single thread performance. So you want you want uh, lots of single thread performance, basically. Rangefinder, cool. Um, do really. It was me expecting this thing to be... There we go. <laughs> Covered in casements. I was like, where are they? Pew pew. Pew? Hmm. No. Nope. Fine. Pew pew. Pew pew. Boom boom. Boom. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I was doing, I was recording my stuff on a PC from 2014. Um, well, most of it. The 4690K runs Dreadnoughts just great. Um, gonna go mow your yards. Oh, tell him I need Dan. Thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Sing single turrets. You want a bet? Ah, uh, okay. Fine. I can put it on two more guns on each side. Very important. True. Well, there you go. <laughs> do, do, do. I found them. 
It's a shame that he's got all this deck space down here that's not used. Like, it won't let me mount anything down here. Boat deck, I guess. Right. Armour. Uh, we're using Harvey now, aren't we? The guns are also punchier. 14 inch. Boop. Wait a more guns, please. Uh, 16, oh. If you increase draft, you can fit a third main gun. Yeah, I guess, but th this is clearly supposed to be a boat deck. And I don't like doing... Not hacky builds, because that's a perfectly legitimate thing to do. Um, but, like, unusual things. Because, again, this is for the AI to use as a template. So if I do something where I have to have things in exactly the right place, there's more gun slots. Where? <laughs> there aren't. They don't fit there. There's no extra ones. I found them all. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm not using sub two inch. Again, for the same reason that the AI doesn't really like it when you resize the guns. It, it it prefers it if you just keep the guns as is. Is why I don't change the lengths either. Again, I'm not building this <laughs> just to to like. For, I'm not building them purely for fun. I'm I'm building these so that the AI can use them. And if I do things like that, then the AI won't won't use it, basically. Ah, uh, we've got loads of weight left. Hmm. What to do with all that extra weight? More armor! <laughs> 22.3 inch. What? Yeah. I mean, it would protect it down to very low, very low range. <laughs> yeah, but the guns can only fit 17. Okay. Six, 16 inch belt. It's still perfectly silly. Um, Ryzen 7 6800H with Radeon graphics. It's always at 80%. Yes, so. Uh, I think I'm right in thinking that a 6800H is a laptop chip. Um, and it's probably a multi-core. Dreadnoughts does not like that. Dreadnoughts wants single thread performance. Single thread performance is the only things that matter. 8 inch secondary aft. No, I don't think you can fit anything. No, you can't fit anything down here. It's fine. Uh, more range. And more speed. Pushing speed will definitely push us up to the weight. Mm hmm. Twenty-one knots. There you go. Um, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Again, I'm not sitting here just exclusively doing historical ships. It's 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 training data. It's not um, not anything more than that. If you want to make a historical ship pack. By all means, <laughs> please send me send me historical ships. Uh, I'm a crew of five. Hmm, that's a big 
big boy. Um, but they're hitting the arm, the displacement limit. So let's go for the AC three. Cage masts. Wow. <laughs> Hexafunnel. Woo. Bum bum bum. Do, 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 do. Ah, no, I should have gone with fives. You know, say seems to like the five inch gun. Pew, 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 pew. Mm, we just unlocked Dreadnought 3 and 4 with Mark 1, 14s. Mark 1 and, let's be honest, Mark 2 guns in, even in regular dip, um, even in, even in dip, uh, all the regular game are, um, pretty rubbish. Um, so I generally would say, like here, we have the option of Mark 3s. We're going to use Mark 3s. Um, there is no reason to use a lower Mark gun, really. 8-inch would make perfect sense, except that I have access to the Mark 3-7. <laughs> Mm, but not the Mark 3.6 for some reason. Mm, nope, I did the AC2. I did the AC2. We talked about the AC3, but I didn't build on it because I I, I couldn't map. I, I was like here on the slider. Again. Because this is training data, I'm not using point nines. I'm not changing gun lengths. I'm just leaving it everything stock. Because it, it, it just it works better that way. Chunky boy. There we go. Eighty-three percent. Damn. Uh, it's just twenty-one knots. How about pushing you? Twenty-three knots. Twenty-four knots. No, twenty-three knots. <laughs> Ask too much. The expansion engines. I'll make it spacious though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think... okay, seven-inch guns are a little bit light for a CA. The hot dog. Um, <laughs> but. I mean, against light cruisers, this thing is going to be nasty. I reckon. Okay. Oh, I'm getting tired. Oh, excuse me. I might stop after. Yeah, we're almost up to dreadnoughts. Um, we don't have any new light cruisers. We have a destroyer, but this is going to be the same destroyer I build every every single time. Although, maybe not. Mm -hmm. I am working on a 
change to how the mod works and when you get when you get the um, the different guns. USA Tower. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, we've already got three master. I uh, built that in 1890. Again, I don't want to repeat hulls simply because the game what doesn't get much use from me doing that. If that makes any sense. Uh, Torps. Yeah. No. No, no, no. Nope. Big torpedoes. Uh, Do 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 six percent over. Hmm. Probably the fuel, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. Two inch. No. Well, I mean, yes, it's a good idea, actually, but uh, it's going to be awkward sticking them on. Now, you just get two five-inch guns, and you have to lump it. Something a bit different. I'll save that. 1905, what do we get access to? Dreadnought USA, but we don't have turbines, do we? No. Um, so I might go to 1906, or I might just skip 1905 and go to 1910. Because I'm pretty sure you get pretty much the same thing. Yeah, you get the Dreadnought USA, which is basically the hull we already did. The experimental, and then the dreadnought two, and then the dreadnought three, which is the, and, and these are very similar. Mm. But the Nebraska would max out the slider. Maybe we'll go with the experimental then. Make a big one. Twenty-one knots. Turbines. Yes, we get semi oil. Yeah. Uh, wow, the, <laughs> the this is so much better than the cage mast, but the cage mast is so cool, so cool looking. <gasps> Ooh, final plus watchtower. Aiming speed, neat. Um. Although I have a suspicion that that funnel is enormous. Um, actually, no. I know what to do. Put it there. And then... There we go. That looks like it's deliberate. Like a little funnel complex with a little... <laughs> a smokery in the middle. Hmm... <laughs> What would this be on with? 12 inch guns, probably? I mean, there are 13s, but it's a generation 1 dreadnought, so we should probably have 12 inch guns. Damn, that's a steep. St 
<laughs> Why is that so high? <laughs> Makes me think that you could try and get like a triple triple firing setup at the back if you wanted. Oh, it's so they don't interfere with these. That's why. Cunning. Uh... Uh... Pew pew pew. Pew 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 pew. Boom. Nope. Uh, well, I guess we just improvise. Seems we've got all this lovely fucking structural boat. This sh fucking thing. <laughs> um, structural boats are very irritating in this game. Ooh. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Uh, okay, I think one of those. Cool. Do yes, a watchtower between two smoke funnels. It's the smokery. Where you go to enjoy the delicious smell of smoke. Still gonna have uh, Citadel three or watertight doors. But water, who needs watertight doors? Uh, it's American, so Dunite is the thing. Have we got high cap HE yet? No. Another very American choice. Now then, Jesus, 53 caliber gun. Uh, 16 inch belt. That should give us a sufficient amount of FU capability. Uh, turrets can only fit 17. Um, deck pad on these is actually really good. Six. I never normally put that much armor on the deck at this stage. Um, four inch. Many. Many's fine. Do do do. Pew 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 pew. Lots of lots of pew. <laughs> I quite like that. Not too bad. Any other interesting holes? Ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Battle cruisers. 
My goodness. Uh, do I want a Gen 1 or Gen 2? Yeah, Gen 2. Because... If we go for 26. Yeah, 26. Ooh, that's uh, comically large, but with American guns, it probably doesn't look too ridiculous. No, it doesn't. Well, once the boats go away. I mean, it still looks ridiculous. This is clearly so it's overscaled. Let's go for the one. Well, not the one, but the... the what? Explain. <laughs> oh, wow, they're actually way worse. Oh, fine. i use the sensible one. Boring. Does it have a USA flag on it? Yes, it does. Okay, good, okay, good, 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 good. Can't have enough five inch secondaries. It's not possible. Not possible, my good man. You're right, Mitchell. I, I would normally be reducing these ludicrously long weapons. Um, but, uh, I, again, yeah, it's training data for the AI. The AI is going to have these guns base. And it's a lot easier for the AI to use a design if it doesn't have to change anything. If it's just like, oh, yeah, okay, the default stuff, great. Yes, that sounds okay. <laughs> Can you fit more? More. More is good. Um, how many guns should you have? More, generally speaking. I mean, not always. Usually, usually more is good. These things are going to be super explosive. Forty-eight <laughs> percent. <laughs> oh, they're just going to die to a stiff breeze. But this is very boring. This is very boring. Very me. Can we make it more American. Yes, we can. Pew pew. is around the right size. Get rid of those. Do do pew pew. Actually that's too big. Is there one in between? Uh, that's not gonna be super far over. I want one that's slightly taller than that, but not as tall as this one. Hmm. Sadly, I don't think such a thing exists. Oh, maybe I should just use the dual. Dual bobbit. Do. Do. 
Ah, but see, then this one looks all wrong. Okay. Ah, I know another way of doing it. Hold on. If the game lets me, of course. Fuck you! Ship I did. <laughs> I armored that against Harvey armor, not Krupp. Whoops. Uh, no, 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 no. No, we don't need more main guns. Remember, this thing is a battle cruiser. It's designed to kill other cruisers. So these are here to kill heavy cruisers, and these are here to kill light cruisers and destroyers. Well, we need, you need, you need, you need the. Uh, what's it called? The Symphony of Firepower. That's why we have 12 sixes, threes. Um, armor. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit more reasonable. Um, 14 inch main belts. Uh, let's go six. On the extend bits, so that should stop an AP six inch shell. Um, deck armor six five. Dab it sixteen eight sixteen five five six three three. Give number six. Five. Piss off. Hmm. Lovely. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> that's that's pretty mean. I mean, nineteen ten. You don't really have Super Dreadnoughts showing up by this point. Sorry, Cabbage plays. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to end soon. 1910, you've got 12-inch guns, so you can actually hurt enemy Dreadnoughts. You've got 6-inch guns, and you're going to absolutely kill heavy cruisers with that. You've got 6-inch guns for killing the light cruisers and destroyers and things. And then you've got three inch guns for like transports. 28 knots. Nasty. Uh, we need a name though. I don't think Ohio is quite right. Um, hmm. What to call it? What to call it? What to call it? I mean, the US didn't build anything like this, I don't think. Oh, it has four American flags. Mm, Lexington. No, 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 no. I can't call it a Lexington. Uh, what about an Essex? I quite like using um, carrier names for battle cruisers. Because the Le Lexington should have like 16s or something. Oh, a thousand bits. Thanks, Alaric. Hugely appreciated. Erica. 
America, fucking America, kid. Bald Eagle, Yosemite, all good names. I will steal these later. I think the Essex. Why not? Why not the Essex class? Um, Crater Lake. Yorktown. Yeah, Yorktown would be good. Essex. Essex. Oh, I've picked it. I picked it. <laughs> Stream dying. People still sending names. Um, in fact, that is so good, I don't actually think you would ever bother building an armored or a light cruiser at this point. Lexington was a CV, but they originally weren't going to be CVs. They were originally going to be battle cruisers. Later battle cruisers, like uh, renown repulse type ships, would be their their British equivalents. Um, in in kind of idea, uh, I think they were sixteen inch guns, thirty knots type type design. I don't think the U.S. ever did a 12-inch battle cruiser that's like the invincible, indefatigable type ship. Um, I don't think they ever proposed doing one like that. Puerto Rico. USA. I've done USA campaigns before. I think I've done. I think I've got two up. But yes, I will get round to them. Playing Dreadnought Improvement Project. I probably should start thinking about. What the next campaign is going to be at some point. Um, but not right now. Right now, I'm going to go rest. Because I've enjoyed this. Um, next stream, which if I'm able to, will be tomorrow. Probably starting slightly earlier. Um, I will continue with America. And um, see if... I can see if I can um, finish finish off the American part of the ship pack. So I'm just going to quickly hop into a custom USA nineteen ten do, do, do. design ship. Hmm. I mean, they're not going to be as good in in dip. Um, basically, that like the USA in if if you hit them early, especially they 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 suffer. Like then they're, they're not a, like horrible. Depends when you start as well. If you start early then it's much easier to contain the US if you start later on then they already have insane economy and you can't do anything about it but there she is our USA dreadnought with her cage masts and everything right YouTube I'm going to say goodbye to you until tomorrow um but thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're on YouTube, check out the French campaign. Check out... Uh, keep an eye out for a stream tomorrow, or Friday, or both. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Click the bell. All this junk. <laughs> um, but I'm going to say goodbye to YouTube chat. Bye. Alright, I think YouTube has gone. Yes, bye YouTube.